Hey everybody, I just watched the first episode of The Walking Dead, Daryl Diction. So, this spinoff is all about Daryl, who was a friend of Rick Grimes. And I want to spoil this first episode. It's pretty, it's pretty epic in a lot of ways. I'm on the edge of my, my seat. Like, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen kind of thing. And I feel like this is pretty interesting, especially as it takes place in Europe. And there are two main groups of villains, at least two that I know of, possibly three. And, I mean, basically one one group of of bad guys, plus this one, this one guy who's sort of like Negan... But, uh, I mean, he's not as cool as Negan, but he's, he seems to be a pretty tough guy. And so, so I'm, I'm watching the show and I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see the rest of it. And, and I'm curious about what they're going to do with the rest of the story. In, in some ways, it's, it's more, it's more interesting than the the dark city show with Negan and Maggie even though like even though that that show is interesting in some ways and it's in New York City that's pretty cool too in a way but this this Daryl show has um a different kind of story let me let me break it down the first episode Castaway starring Tom Hanks just kidding. Starring. Daryl. Somehow he made it to France. I believe this is somewhere in France. So they, they sort of tell you later on how he got here. But at first you're like, how did he get here? He runs into a boat. He records himself on a tape recorder about himself in case he doesn't make it. He looks at a map. He's considering... Going on the map, trying to find a port, trying to find a way back. Because he wants to go back home. Aww. He's looking at this map of Europe. He's cooking fish like Jesus. I, I think he's somewhere at the bottom and he's going up north towards Paris. Arr. I grew up in the ghetto next to train tracks. This is not the wall of, of China. Too many, too many holes. Ain't no mountain high enough. He runs into here looking for food. He runs into walkers. It was pretty epic. He's fighting all the walkers and then one of them grabs his arm and he gets burned for the first time. He's badly burned. Do, 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 do. Darrow. Oh no. Arm. Somebody's watching me. The old news on me. God love you. I got a translator. Huh. Hello. We want to be a friend, Daryl. We're a little bit too nice. I wanted to, to believe that they were just nice people. I was wrong. They did a trade medical for apples. <laughs> uh, My father always talk about World War II. These guys came. And then they, they had a fight. And Daryl had to like fight them. And, they, and then these guys died. But at the end, these guys turned on Daryl. And ran off with his stuff. Meow. At the end, the grandpa hits Daryl, knocking him out. Meow. But then the nun lady came and saved the day. Us back. Here is Rick's daughter, Daryl. Emma, I did. Ah. Doo -doo. Hello, Daryl Dixon. I got your tape recorder. I know who you are. You're gonna save us. We have a boy. We have a boy. The boy is the second coming of Jesus. The brand, the reincarnation of Jesus. And you're going to, well, either you're going to help him if he's not Jesus. You're just going to help him. You know, take him to a better place. Get him out of this ghetto. This, this, uh, pagoda of a ghetto. This little, uh, Catholic little building. You know, get him out of here. Get him into a better place. Or maybe he is Jesus. Either way, it's a win-win. Okay, got it. Girl, I noticed that you have all the different religions up on the wall. 
it's like you're trying to keep all your cover all your bases. Shut up, hold still, hold still, god damn it. Everybody go come to fight. The the nuns were trained to to fight with swords and guns. They have a weapon room. Buddha, that's back. Taking a bath. I wanna fall in love with you, Daryl. But not in the first episode. Ooh, weapon, weapon, weapon room. Okay. We have like a walkie talkie thing. Um, a room, a secret room to like call people, but it's broken. I'm trying to eat my food. This boy over there is emulating me. Maybe Daryl's not the one. He belonged out there. Shut up. I love him. Daryl. You know, a lot of people died. You know, like there was like millions of people or something. Or billions of people. Like, like this, let's say France alone had like millions of people or whatever. And now we don't have a lot of people, like thousands of people or less. How many generations will it take? How many licks does it take to get to the bottom of the zero? It take like seven generations, right? The skinheads took out Grandpa. Oh my God, you kept the father inside a room and he's dead. He's a walker. You guys are crazy. I'm out of here. But then he noticed that the, the skinhead people are coming. And so he returns. You killed my brother. No. Run. Daryl's fighting the guy. And then the guy almost gets him. Then the girl comes, tries to save the day. Then the guy runs off. And the guy's pretty cool. He's not, he's not. He's not as cool as Negan. And he gets away. Kill Bill. Tell your sister she was right. What? Maybe you were right. Wait, Darth Vader, is that you? No, I'm just an old hag. You will train the boy. Okay, if I have to. All right, we're going to go. Now Now we're a little bit of a tribe. And there's people after Daryl. There's that guy, you know, and, and they killed all his men. And I don't know if he has more men out there. And that that's pretty epic. I mean, pretty scary. Like, the odds are against Daryl and his three friends now they're friends now because because of the battle they're bonded and they're gonna go towards a port they're gonna go towards paris and they're gonna run into other other people and so that's gonna be good for daryl to run into other communities but for now he's a sitting duck and then there's another another group by the way that's after daryl singing northern friends here's the main main boss lady she like the big boss lady don't mess with the boss lady lord help us mc plus it's peter pan and hook all over again this is like the last supper hero woo barnabas batman villains lost boys jumanji the fifth element i see dead people mary had a little lamb I built this house. Roar. Who that? Roar. Frankenstein? Oh yeah, there's a scientist guy. What the hell? This rat. Don't match with me. I'm a woman. The main baddie has to be a woman. Hey girl, why can't I be the main baddie? You remember back in the day when they had main baddies? On the walking dead like the governor and the Negan? <laughs> Boom. Nobody told the boy who he is. Looks like they're gonna stick Daryl into a... An a, 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 a arena. A place. How do I say arena? Why is that so hard to say? And so it's like the gladiators. It's like he's going to have to fight to the death. And he says, I'm not going to die in here. So if you, if you really like Daryl, then you're probably going to like this show.